So I've been having fun with Dollar Tree napkins today, and this is a picture frame. And I did the frame, and then I took a piece of cardboard and I decoupaged another piece. I put some, I like a mint colored paper behind the napkin so that it gave it a different tone and lined it up. And I think it turned out pretty doggone cute. I really like it. And then I just took some other Dollar Tree napkins and put them on these squares that had different pictures on them. I'm going to put a little bling on these. I thought they were pretty cute. And then this one, which is my one of my favorites. My second favorite. My favorite is that one. But this one also Dollar Tree napkins. Love this pattern. This is my sewing machine cover. I covered it with napkins, ribbon in between, and these are little squares from my dad's shirts. When he passed away, I took his shirts and I made uh, stuff for everybody out of them. And some people got quilts, some people got ornaments that kind of stuff. So this is what was left over. And this was my favorite shirt. So I put that on there. I thought it was pretty cool. And then these are just some uh, flowers that I got from a secondhand store um, the other day. And I was wondering what I was going to do. And I think they work out perfect for that. So it brightens up my sewing machine cover. And I've been watching uh gift basket appeal do her decoupage with these napkins and i did do some for gifts i did with this one i did some really cool gifts for some family and uh so for mother's day and i didn't show those actually i don't think i might have put a picture up i don't know um but i didn't want to spoil it because they're on my uh, YouTube and everything else. So they see that stuff. So I thought I would just show this and thanks gift basket appeal for the ideas. Cause I went with them. I, th I really love how this one turned out. Absolutely love it. The two tones, it lined up pretty good. I have to say it lined up pretty good. It, this was not one try. Okay. This took me to get this to line up this was the fourth one. So the fourth time of trying, I did this first and then I cut out a piece of card. You can see there's another try, <laughs> but I just used the same cardboard and stuck it in the back. And I ended up trying so many different ways to try and get this. And the last one that I did, I cut out this piece of paper. It's a, a mint green piece of paper that fit inside and stuck it all in there and then lined it up showing through this here and then put some Mod Podge right in the middle and just kind of stuck the paper and then pulled it out through, laid it down, did it and then stuck it back in. So it came out pretty good <clears throat> this time. The other ones were, it was just really hard. It took me several tries to figure out how to do that, but I really like the idea. It's, it's on the sides. I don't know if you can see that. The glare is, there you go. It goes all around the sides. Let's see if I can get that at the right angle. It goes around the sides and the top. And so and I don't know why it has my light on with this. I prefer it didn't. See if I can turn it off. There we go. Maybe then I won't get well. I have got really good light. And there's one other thing I want to show. Um, and it's that. This is a Dollar Tree puzzle. And I don't know if you can see it, but this here. Now don't look at my nails are terrible because I've been. Is this button here? This one's in there. I had these buttons. And there's a little one, 
here. It's a little green one. You can barely see it back there. Is this one. And so I painted the frame, put the puzzle together, trimmed it down to fit, and then put all those buttons like they're climbing out of the picture or going into the picture or something. I don't know. So that's a really neat thing. And I don't want to show you too much of my craft room because there's going to be a craft room reveal. So I just had to say that show this because it's beautiful. They're all so beautiful. These are going to be pictures. There's going to be a little more bling. I haven't decided whether I'm going to hang them or I have a little thing on the back right now just to keep them up off because they were drying. But yeah, they're cute. And some of them you can barely see. I don't know if you can see. I did them really light because they have this really cute pattern, but I didn't like the colors. So they kind of look like they've got little stripes. So yeah, but I like them. You go with a lot of my stuff in my craft room you can kind of see the color theme but yeah love it thanks gift basket appeal i love it